Red Low. Uh, it's a, a name that a lot of my childhood friends had always called me for many years. My full name is Teddy Designano, and uh, I'm Filipino-American, you know. Grew up in the 310 area code, dropping boots. Um, I don't know, for as long as I can really remember, you know, being around with uh, my parents. And, uh, you know, for, for like the amount of time that uh, I've been making music, it's, it's been a, a really good journey, you know, looking back at it. So far, it's been worth it. <laughs> well, my music sounds like as if Bob Marley, you know, were to come in a room and then you would have like a, you know, a funky ass drummer, you know, from the meters or somebody come to We all could vibe out with the hip hop kids, you know? And then uh, with technology, you know, advancing so much these days, uh, the music would sound like all that. I just said, glitched with all this craziness coming out of it with the West Coast tip. <laughs> uh, got done uh, mixing the Bounce Rock Skate remix, and uh, that's uh, one of the main things I've been focusing on is uh, getting that remix project out there. And uh, I do have other things on my plate too. And uh, working with uh, more remixes, uh, newer sound, something that we're uh, taking from any any style that inspires us. The bounce rock skate remix video um, that was produced through just this divine intervention, in a sense. You know, we started uh, in Rancho Palos Verdes. You know, we had a green screen ready to go. We even did test shots. I mean, this place was amazing. You know, and uh, you know, last minute, uh, the studio uh, didn't allow us to do it, so we had to move forward from that. And uh, you know, I just happened to be working, uh, you know, networking and, and getting up with other people. So, you know, I would just have uh, people out there in Santa Ana or you know, other cities as well, but specifically for this project, you know, I just happened to be looking for um, places that I could DJ at. So I would just go down there and drop a you know, business card. And uh, you know, I realized, I said, hey, you know what, why not just shoot the video here? This is inspirational. And, you know, I just happened to see somebody also shooting you know, a student project. So it all just started coming together. So the next day, you know, I hit them up and then, you know, they were right on board the next day. It was a, it was a very interesting experience. And, um, you know, when, when it came down to uh, us, you know, picking out shots and whatnot, you know, I, the way I look at it is when I'm working with, you know, any director, um, you know, and with Jared, you know, I just say, you know what, you do what you do. Like, it's that whole Ocean's Eleven theory that I have in my head that everything will just come together somehow because of the people that we surround ourselves with. And I mean, it really did magically happen that way, you know, from the you know, obstacles that we had to overcome, it just immediately fell right into place and then everything started gravitating and moving for us. So we just went with that moment. I really remember it all just coming together when we were at the second um, the second shot within the art gallery and um, into the third location which really set the shot, set the tone for what we were doing and what the concept we made. And this whole thing was about people hating, you know, Th that's the subject. Um, you know, I typically don't talk about people hating because I'm not about the drama, but it just happened to be where I needed to express that because uh, in the past, you know, six months to a year, you know, I've been feeling this kind of developing situation of you know, people trying to get in the way of, of, of what I was doing or, you know, trying to pull me down and, you know, it just, it all just came through that way. And uh, the moment when we were standing on the stairs, we had this one shot and that's, I think, is one of the, uh, the main shots that we're, we're going to be using um, in it. Uh, that really stood out because, you know, I was doing my thing, you know, I had my boy Jared capturing all this, and then 
the symbolization of all the haters behind me, up above me, trying to boot me down, and I was still in the forefront, killing it. And uh, I think that really, that really set the, the tone for me right there. It was great. Well, I've been working with Jared, well, just recently, uh, you know, we, we've been working together on some projects, but I've been working with Jared for a long time, you know, just on uh, other projects that he had for other artists, and, uh, you know, just um, being a part of that. So it's, it's been a few years that we've been, been a crew in, you know, doing things. Two days. Um, the first day we were in Santa Ana, we had several different locations, and uh, the second day was specifically at um, a local great club out there called the Crosby, um, and uh, that was the second day of the shoot, and it really just wrapped everything together for us. I'm not sure what they're going to be expecting, but I definitely know what I'm going to give them, you know, and. Uh, you know, from this point, it's like, the way I look at it is, you know, we're going to be rising to do that real good shit that I feel that I've been waiting for, you know, and hopefully everyone will gravitate to feel that same way.